Where's my tribe? When you spiritually awaken, don't expect a welcoming committee. It's more like a pack of wolves and no one's talking about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris, soul speak expert and spiritual healer. Instead of support, you'll encounter people trying to outshine, outdo, and outmaneuver you. But here's the silver lining. You'll see through their intentions and you won't be blindsided anymore. The idea that everyone in the spiritual community is heart-centered, let's be honest, that ship sailed centuries ago and no one's speaking the truth about it. Here's the real deal. People are often more interested in getting ahead than forming genuine connections. When they see your spiritual glow, some of you view as prey. They pretend to be friends, but they're really just looking to take what they can from you. These are the red flags of awakening that no one warns you about. So what do you do? Don't trust blindly. See people for who they truly are, not who they claim to be. Understand that your journey is meant to be walked alone, and that's okay. Stick to your purpose, stay true to your path, and don't waver. If your heart becomes bitter, you're in the wrong company. This journey is about your growth, not fitting in with the so-called tribe. Stay sovereign, stay strong, and keep shining. Are you ready to see through the red flags of awakening? Follow here for more pro tips, and check out the links in my bio.